Hi everyone, Tafik Munayer here, uh, VP of Design for Keep Collective uh, and Stella and Dot. I just wanted to say hello, and I wanted to sort of pull back the curtain a little bit and just tell you about uh, about what we do here and why it's so special uh, from a product perspective. Um, first of all, you all should know, and I think you're, there's a there's a dedicated design team here. Um, that uh, I lead and I work with wonderful, wonderful designers, amazing product development um, sharks and gurus. Um, so we really start there. We really start like any other fashion house in London or Milan or Paris. Um, uh, we're based here in New York and every season we start with a seasonal um, inspiration. Um, so really sometimes it's a feeling, it's a gesture, it's um, based on trends or things that we're seeing in the marketplace uh, and we're reacting. It could be a, sh uh, a, a, a show we saw at the Met or a ballet that we saw that really inspired us or uh, a movie that's sweeping the nation that everyone's talking about. It's a variety of things and for me um, when I get inspired it's it's never from one place. It's sort of this culmination of very very different things that we sort of blend together. Um, obviously, we always pay attention to trend and then how it relates to who we are and our aesthetics and our guardrails as a brand um, and making sure that we filter everything through that. So I think that's really important to sort of note. Um, we don't just push a button and like a necklace comes out, but we're really inspired. We start gathering materials, uh, scouring the globe, uh, I work with a very talented woman who's head of um, product development and sourcing here at Stella and Dot uh, named Robin, who I want to introduce you all to. Um, but it's exactly that, it's global sourcing. So it's um, the designers come up with some sort of idea or gesture. We have conversations with Blythe. There's conversations with Jessica. Everyone's talking internally. We go out and we find the most amazing materials, um, the most amazing raw materials, stones and new metal finishes. Um, we're all obsessed with vintage. Uh, I, I am not allowed to, to bring anything home anymore, but I love finding beautiful things and ways of doing things that don't even exist anymore and then translating that to today. Um, you should also know that we predominantly use brass, which is a very, very high end and elevated approach as a base metal. So you know when you pick something up and it just feels like, oh, you're like, oh my God, that bracelet. This this is a candy jewels bracelet from Holiday, but it has an integrity, it has a weight on your wrist. It has a, it has a and it's usually because <clears throat> the base metal is brass and it has that sort of integrity of weight. You can't quite articulate it. Um, and brass is always amazing. Um, it's also very amazing because we do a lot of prong settings. So it's a, a metal that has the integrity to be bent and to be shaped, which is super important. Otherwise it would snap um, adjustable bracelets. Um, rings are amazing in brass, um, but that sh should be noted because a lot of our competitors and people that we sort of sit with do not use brass. They use a lot of zinc and other sort of lighter metals and sort of combinations of metals. Um, sometimes we might use a different metal, but that's usually because we wanna make an earring lighter or we want to, um, so there's always like a reason why um, but predominantly brass, which we're really, really proud of. <clears throat> and we use real mills of gold and real mills of silver. Um, that those are the actual precious metals that we use. It's not imitation. So there are a variety of people out there. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna start naming names, but people that use imitation gold and imitation silver. And it's always that finish that's a little bit green or a little tarnished, or you wear it in the shower and your neck is green. We do not do that. So everything is cast in brass. It's dipped and you know um, plated with real mills of gold and real mills of silver. Um, so that's what's touching your skin. Um, we also use a variety of stones here. Um, everything from semi-precious stones that are a bit more honed. This is again um, coming out in holiday, but a variety of stones like some of these are semi-precious, like rose quartz or uh, you know, agate or beautiful uh, lapis or turquoise. Um, those are stones that are mined from the earth. So taken and extracted from the earth. Um, we also have beautifully hand cut glass stones that have, are brilliant, literally a chunk of glass that someone hand cuts each stone um, to our specification. 
we also really look at faceting. So when you think, when you look at a stone, the more uh, facets, the more cuts it has, the more brilliant and the more it shines. So when we design, we have some stones that have just a few facets because we want them to sort of take a backstage to our, you know, our star stone, which is highly faceted and more sparkly. Um, but uh, I think a mix of stones is really, really important. We do use resin stones too, uh, as well, like really high quality resin. And usually, again, those are in earrings. We mix them with semi-precious stones, but because we want to get things a little bit lighter on the ear. So it is this really sort of labor of love of finding the best things, um, the custom cuts, um, custom castings. That's another thing I want to talk to you guys about. All our settings are custom to our stones. So we design the stone shape, then we design the casting and the setting it sits in. Um, and then there's also, we do a ton of custom castings, which is really for our, you know, our market and our price point or where we sit, um, it's amazing, amazing. So for instance, if you think about uh, a Blythe's behind the design group, uh, Sculptural Garden, um, that has this sort of language and integrity. Um, we really started, um, Blythe really started using um, wax just to gesture some of the shapes so she uses wax um, and sometimes tin foil or whatever she has at home to gesture a shape to, 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 to see where you know she wants to take the group then we work with this amazing woman named Marta who's um, she's a model maker and she takes those and refines those into these beautiful um, like they're, they're basically wax sculptures of the concepts and the ideas that we have. We then take those and send them to our vendors overseas. They create custom molds and castings of the pieces that we specify. And from there, we, def we refine, we, we, we tweak, we zhuzh, and then you have the final casting, um, which you'll see in the pieces when we deliver them. Um, but just understand that every single casting and every shape that's on a necklace, for, in for instance, Sculptural Garden has several different castings. So if you think about it, and I always say, it's like wearing a piece of art because it's true. Multiple sculptures, handcrafted by someone and then taken and then, um, you know, reproduced to make this beautiful one of a kind necklace. So. I wanted to mention that we do a lot of that work, um, super, super, like it's near and dear to my heart and also Blythe's, it's like our love language to really sculpt and sort of play with things and get them to be bringing you guys one of a kind pieces that have so much integrity in art. Um, also, I, I wanted you guys to know with everything that we do, there's so much handwork. Um, when we talk about prongs and for instance, I always, I'm gonna bring this necklace. This is delivering soon. So if you think about this necklace, this particular necklace, if you look at every prong, that's the little metal piece that's holding the stone in place. Every single prong, this has over a thousand, I think a thousand and two prongs, has to be bent by hand, by a person. So a person will sit here and bend every prong and put every stone into place with teeny tiny pliers. Um, so I think that's really phenomenal because I think sometimes when we appreciate and have an understanding and have that relationship with the maker, um, it really elevates the value and the appreciation for something. Um, I love it. Um, we also do, this is um, a bit sort of more technical, but we do a ton of testing. Um, we have an amazing, amazing, um, you know, uh, a group of people that test our products that are also third party. So it's not just us being like, this is fabulous. This is amazing. Um, but we're also constantly like dropping things on the floor, doing drop tests, throwing, <laughs> throwing things against walls just to see how durable and how, how, uh, these pieces can live in your everyday life. So that's a huge thing for us. We take it really, really seriously. Um, and lastly, I wanted to just also mention, and we do a, a, a large amount of look of fine jewelry, um, you know, uh, and again, real mills of gold. But I wanted to mention, this is uh, the uh, Celestial Collection that's coming out right now for holiday. Gorgeous ear crawler, and it has the jacket with the, the little dangles, which I, I love. And this is my other personal, like personal favorite. 
Um, this is just, I think, like a superstar of an earring, this little huggy with um, all these um, faceted stones that are all in cut with these little Nivette drops. Um, all of this is made, all, all anything that has a look of fine is made with real CZ, real uh, cubic zirconia, um, which again is a huge thing. It, you don't find that in every, every, um, every one of our competitors or people that hang with us or like, so I just wanna just take a minute to let you guys know about what we do the the joy and the love and the passion and the um i don't know maniacal attention to detail that the team here has um we're so excited we're so excited about um delivering holiday and i think you guys are going to be so pleased um but again just wanted to say hello and just let you know a little bit about what we do here all right have a great 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 october november and december bye